Kate's here, thanks for stopping by. So today I'm just going to do a quick bit of sealing that I need to do. Um, these are all my Smash in the Specials, or, well, bits of my Smash in the Specials um, that still need to be sealed. This one I finished off last night, I absolutely love it. So I want it sealing so I can get it put up on the wall. And I sealed one side of my little gnomes uh, last night. It's now completely dry, those drills ain't going anywhere. So I'm now going to seal the other side as well because obviously, well, I suppose you could hang it up while it dries, but I like to leave one side to completely dry and then turn it over and do the other side. So let's uh, get this sealed. I've got my Craft Buddy Crystal Art Sealer. and um, This is the huge pot, the 400 milliliter pot. It's cheaper to buy a bigger pot. Um, and because I had so much uh, Christmas stuff... <laughs> to seal and uh, last year's smashing the specials as well um that i thought well i might as well have a big pot and let's get that done these are just some i think i can't remember i'll see if i can find the link and put it down below they were from create and craft these brushes um i do sometimes use the bigger brush on my canvases because it's nice and soft these have been well used and just literally rinse them out in uh, i used lukewarm water um i do sometimes put a little tiny bit of like liquid soap on them just to wash them around and then when you dry them if you stand them up then you, you don't end up getting rust on uh, your edges i'm going to tip that out in a minute yeah you don't end up getting any rust or marks on your metal parts of your brush because all the water is running down and dry in there rather than if you put them this way you'll find that water will get into these bits uh, it just makes your brushes last a little bit longer so just a quick tip if it works for you great okay so let's just uh, let's do the gnomes first because they're the little ones and we'll get those out of the way i've got my glass cutting mats out i do sometimes use like a splodge mask to craft mat uh, to do this on and I've got my little pokey tool as well so that I can hold my project so I'm not getting it all over my fingers <laughs> which I normally do so let's just get uh, a little bit onto the brush just give it oops, a bit of a scourge there okay and we'll get started you don't need a lot of this uh, and don't be worried it does go on white and then it does dry completely clear uh, and what I tend to do as well is on these, I've put the chains on first before I've sealed them so that I can see where the chain goes. Because sometimes, oops, just got a little bit much there. Wait, well, my brush is a bit drier. Um, the drills, I'll show you on the B, go around where you're going to put your little jump rings to put your embellishments or your chains on. And it's very difficult to then get your chains on once you've actually uh, sealed it because then the drills don't move. So let's just get that one done. So that's the little girl one done. And now let's get the little boy one done. So you don't need much. You're sort of putting it on and then taking it off. Um, some people do actually wipe over with a dry baby wipe and take any excess off. I've never found it necessary to do that and um, if you want to do that then you know by all means do but i've found that it just dries the same anyway just got that blob there it doesn't want to come out that's it got you your little so and so okay and just give it a quick wipe over so the glue does absolutely spread out quite a bit as well uh, some people do water down their glue. Again, that's something I've never done. If you do water down your sealer, you can get bubbles in it when you're doing a canvas. Uh, obviously, on this one, we're not doing. So just make sure I haven't got too much excess anywhere. And it will dry completely clear. You'll probably find that this is practically dry by the time we've uh, finished doing the bee. But I'll just wipe that away. I don't want that to, to stick to the back of it. All right, let me just show you this B. Okay, so if you can see there, where this chain goes through, it's like a lobster claw clasp there. And this one was very, very stiff um, and didn't open up very much. So when I put it on, I actually moved 
this little gem here, if you can see that there, I actually moved that one out of the way. Otherwise, I was having to go over the acrylic and the gem to get the clasp on. Whereas now I only had, I only had, well, because I've taken it off, I only had to go over the acrylic and now I can seal round that. So it's going to keep the hanger, the chain on a lot better. And it was exactly the same at the other side as well. Um, I had to move one of the drills from there to be able to get this on. So it's just something to think about if you are sealing projects. Just think, does I need the hanger on first or afterwards? So just, you know, makes your life a little bit easier. Just a little bit of forward planning. Okay, so let's get this sealed. Make sure you go right round the edges. And this is great as well. If you find, you know, when you're doing a project and sometimes the edges are sticky, uh, the glue's gone really over the edges, then you'll find that this actually stops the edges from being sticky as well. Uh, to be honest, I think I'm finding, maybe it's because I've done so much of it that this is my least favourite job at the moment. Although I'm quite enjoying doing this one now. So maybe it was because I just did too many yesterday. I got all my Christmas stuff out and I was like, oh no, how many have I got left to do? I think what I need to do um, is start doing them as I go along rather than leaving them as one great big project at the end. Um I tend to leave so that I've got a few to do. Uh, it doesn't matter if it goes on my glass mat, I can just soon wipe that off. Um, and if I just get the very tip of this brush, then I can just go along the edges. Obviously, you don't want to waste any. Um, but yeah, I think I tend to think, oh, right, I'll have a sealing day or a sealing afternoon um, and leave it till I've got a few to do. And then I get my pot out and do a lot all at once. And I found it, well, it just got a bit monotonous. I didn't like doing it. Uh, maybe I should have done it as a whip and chat. <laughs> but uh, no, I didn't. So there you were. Uh, yeah, let's just get this one done. As I say, if you go right over the top of the beads, it doesn't matter. Um, I try not to let any of the glue pool so that it makes it too thick. And you do only need to put one coat on, um, unless you find you've missed it completely when it's dry. Then obviously you can just touch it up and if any drills come off, you can use the sealer as a glue to actually stick drills back down again. It's quite handy for that. I do find sometimes that, you know, a drill can be a little bit uh, loose. And as you're putting your sealer on, you can suddenly find that one's escaped. Um, or you can suddenly find you've missed one. So you can just then go over or just put a little tiny drop um, and it will just then seal your drill back on again. So let's go around this wing. So pretty this one. I'm so pleased I got it. Just really is sparkly. I nearly didn't because I thought oh, I've got so many bees. Right, I'm just going to go underneath that and just make sure that that is sealed underneath there without actually sealing the uh, it is. You can go in with a little dry baby wipe if you want to just get any of the sealer off there, but I say I tend not to. Uh, yeah, I nearly didn't get it. I did think, oh, everybody will think I'm mad. I've just got bees everywhere, but uh, no, it's fine. And it looks lovely where I've got it in the room. It does look nice because we tend to, we're very plain in our house. We don't have a lot of colour in the house. Um, I'm a very firm believer in sort of plainish walls, really. I don't know why, it's just the way that I am. Um, so everything's just plain, painted pretty plain. But then that just means any accessories or anything you get stand out an awful lot more, which is great. get those little are they feelers are they antennae i'm not quite sure those little whatever they are horns feelers <laughs> don't know but we'll just get those done and that little bit that's just sticking out there so you don't need to be too gentle with these i mean obviously don't go in with a wire brush or anything 
but uh, you know they are quite a family on these gems so you can give them a good old brush over basically sealing it is like grouting tiles what you're actually doing you're not really putting the glue uh, glue you're not really putting the sealer um onto the gems what you're doing is trying to get in between the gems so that it then seals in between and keeps them firmly in place so it is just the nearest thing to it is grouting tiles you know where you're just putting the fixer in between the tiles to keep the tiles in place well this is like putting a fixer in between the gems to keep your gems in place so anywhere where your gems are quite raised up just give it a bit of a, a stab around it as it were and just get that done okay there are quite a lot of sealers out there and um, i have got some mod podge and I, to be fair i haven't tried the mod podge yet not on diamond painting because i am quite a big fan of craft buddy and i've found that this works so i thought well i'll just carry on using this and um, i have seen now that there is a spray um sealer as well so i may give that a try i do like to try new things but uh, yeah at the moment and as you can see i've got a very large tub to use up but and it does last a long time so a little goes a long long way right we've just got a little loose gem there so i'll leave it as is for now and we'll have a look when it's dried and uh, see what's happening with that one so we'll just go over this flower okay so i can hear my washing machine is on spin so that's good by the time i've got these finished should be able to go and get my washing out and get that uh, all hung up ready for drying another job to do <laughs> for everything in in between okay so i'll just get Just lift that up again, just get round there, get around the edges and get that one sealed in place because it has moved slightly with having to move it uh, to get the clasp on there to get that fastener on. But yeah, so okay, so that's the bead done, and I think you can see there's still quite a bit, but you can see the sparkle starting to come back through there now already. Okay, once that goes completely white, then we will be completely clear. And as I say, I have sealed the other side. And that was just done last night. And that's the other side all sealed. So that is just so annoying, that bit. I'm just going to take that off with my finger. And now I'm going to have to find a cloth to wipe my hands. But yeah, but it will just dry clear anyway. So as I say, it's a few, few hours. I mean, they're starting to go clear now but it does take a few hours i tend to as i say leave them overnight i find for me that overnight works best and then i know that it's fully dry and it's fully done you can see that leg there now look is starting to uh, dry off and round the edges so yeah just a quick little video showing you some sealing projects i've got a couple of other bits to do as well but they're christmas so i won't bore you with them it would just be more of the same I hope you've enjoyed seeing these. Uh, if you have, a thumbs up is always much appreciated. And if you want to come back and see what I get up to next and see what else I have in store, press that subscribe button and the all notifications bell. You'll be notified when my next videos come out. So thanks ever so much for stopping by. I do hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.